Okay, so um, what we're uh, doing here is uh, making an animated pixel art, uh, basically an animated GIF uh, using uh, pixel, pixelart.com, P-I-X-I-L, spelled a little different. Um, so we already did a tutorial on how to do this. So I'm going to go back and click Start Drawing. When you go to pixel art, um, I'm going to kind of show you the process here of creating a little animation using something you've already made and how to just make small changes. Um, oh no, I don't want a new drawing. I want uh, Bob Ross. I'm just going to start with Bob Ross. Here we go. Just plain old Bob Ross. See what happens. See if it'll let me choose my, my Bob Ross. Yay, there it is. Okay, so um, one, I have created a layer. Um, and to create new layers, you can just click the plus sign. I added a layer and I filled it with a color using the paint bucket tool. You can fill it with any color. Um, Control Z will undo. I like the green, so I'm going to leave it like that. And here's what we're going to do. I am going to uh, show you how do I just do a simple thing like an eye blink. Uh, the more the more the body moves, the more complicated you can get. There's a lot you can do. The animation tools are down here at the bottom where it says um, add frame effect. I want to get rid of this thing here. There we go. GIF frames, and it will show your frames. I'm going to delete these so I can start over. So I'm going to start with my character uh, just standing here. Um, and you can see him, and he's there. And I'm going to make it just make his eyes blink. So to make his eyes blink is very simple. Um, I'm going to copy the frame. So now I have two of the same frame. Now on this frame, I'm going to, I'm going to add a layer, and I'm going to put it on top of Bob Ross. And if it's not up there, you can use these arrows to move layers up and down. So I have a layer on top. And I'm going to paint over his eyes. So I'm going to use the color picker. I'm going to pick the skin tone right there. And it changed to that skin tone. I'm going to switch to the pencil tool. And I'm just going to um, erase down to this so it looks like he's squinting his eyes. And then I'm going to copy frame. I'm going to hit preview. That's really fast. But um, that's that's a basic that's a basically it. I'm, I animated it. Um, now I can actually do different speeds here, so I can have him hold that longer. Let's have him hold it for 500 milliseconds. Let's see what that looks like. Preview. That's <laughs> weird. Um, and maybe I'm gonna make one of those other frames last a little longer too. Like let's make this one last uh, 350. His eyes are closed for a very long time. Um, makes me. Makes me want to make uh, this one last a little longer to play. There we go. Blinking Bob Ross. Now, if you want your character to uh, maybe say move around the screen or, or do something uh, else, let's 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 try that. So now we've we've made our character blink. That's how you make a character blink. You just kind of make their eyes disappear. Um, I mean, your eyes don't actually disappear when you blink but they do close and it's the same color as the rest of your skin. Um, sometimes, depends, depends on coloration. Um, now I'm gonna go back to the frames by clicking on that little frame button. I'm gonna move this little control out of the way um, and I'm gonna delete all those. And you're not deleting your picture, this is just deleting the animation portion of your picture. So this time I'm gonna have my character jump around the screen. So I'm gonna use the move tool and I'm going to put him right here in the bottom left so his feet are touching the ground. And I'm going to add a frame. Oops, I didn't mean to add frame. I'm going to copy frame. And then in this frame, I'm going to move him up a little bit. And I'm going to copy frame. Shift D. I'm going to start using Shift D over and over again. Yep, Shift D. Now I'm going to move him a little bit more. I'm going to move him up and over one. Shift D up and over one, shift D. I'm gonna go up two and over one, shift D. Up two more and over two, like he's picking up speed maybe. Shift D, up, over, shift D, shift D. E. D. I hope this works. I'm trying to use my principles of animation like 
Shift T, Shift T, Shift T. Let's play that. <laughs> All right. It's not my finest animation. Um, I might increase the speed. It feels a little, feels a little slow. Feels a little slow. So um, I'm going to go to the frames here. Uh, I'm going to change all these to 100 milliseconds just to see if the speed. So I don't know if that is, I don't know if that's the default speed. I wasn't paying attention on the last one. Uh, but this will look, I think this will look better at a much faster speed. That was way too slow. I wish I could auto adjust all those. And if you know how to do that, you know, leave a comment. Please tell me. But um, yeah, more frames with a, a higher speed tends to look better. Um, you can also do the opposite, which is less frames at a much slower speed, but it's going to look clunky. It's not going to look as smooth. Let's try this. Let's try this. I think it's gonna look better. Oh yeah. That already looks, that already looks smoother. So there's, there's how you could animate a character jumping without having to redraw the character every single time. Um, you can just move the character. And then if you have little pieces you want to move, like you could create separate body parts on different layers. It gets a little more tricky. I don't know how they move around, but that's how you can animate and make an animated GIF. And then the last step, of course, is to save this so you can share it. You have a save drawing button up here in the upper right-hand corner. You also have file, and then you can export or download, which I believe opens up, yep, the same menu. I'm going to move my picture over here. So download as a PNG or a GIF. Now, here's something I highly suggest. If you made this as a 40 by 40, make it way bigger like, you know, 920 or 1,000 by 1,000. That way, people are going to be able to um, uh, see it better. It's going to be very tiny if you make it 40 by 40. I'm going to download. And you can actually download a sprite sheet, which is like every individual picture. I'm going to actually download the GIF. And I'm going to name this uh, Bob Ross Jumps and save. OK. And then I believe uh, this save drawing is to save it online. Bob Ross, you, if you have an account, uh, Bob Ross Jumping GIF. Update. Hopefully it's uploading. And that's how you can share it. Like if you have an account on pixel art, you can actually share your art with the pixel art community um and people can and see what you're doing and and I, I think that worked i'm not sure uh did it save i guess it saved i'm gonna close it i don't know i don't know if it saved or not but um the only ir the really irritating thing is these ads that pop up on the bottom right but you can just close them and i bet there's a way you can pay so that you don't have um that issue but there's my bob ross picture now if i want to save this as a regular picture um I would need to get rid of those frames to be able to save it as a PNG. But there you go. I hope that was helpful. Animate your GIF. Maybe share it. Let me know what you did. All right. Have a great day. Be nice to each other. And stopping the video.